my instructions are, are, are somewhat confusing. Initially, I said uh, I thought it was alphabetical, and when I looked at the names, I realized that we're calling these guys up in reverse order from the lowest length of batting average to the highest. <laughs> Dave Latz was first. Huh? All right, we've got a lot of guys, so we better get moving. Uh, first of all, and it is uh, infielder Matt Bradman. Infielder Dave Blatt. Infielder Randy Kaye. Kaye, excuse me. Outfield and sometimes thought he was pitcher. Louis Cote. <laughs> Outfielder, Jeremy Cullerton. <laughs> Catcher, Jared Kruger. <laughs> Pitcher, Jeff Grubber. I'm responsible for making sure there was beer after the game was king. <laughs> Manager par excellence, Linda Keen. <laughs> Linda won 50-50 at the uh, Sultan's Bull Knights game. Outfielder, Heath Keen. Infielder, Rick Martins. Outfielder, Everly Martins. A lot of guys, a lot of guys in front of that start getting here. So. Pitcher, infielder, Jason Matejcik. Pitcher, Scott McLeod. Two left-handed stand-up pitchers, Harry Nazarovich. <laughs> we'll find him by and by. Catcher, Michelle Lamando. Infielder, pitcher, Matt Penner. Pitcher and fielder, Marcus Samborski. <laughs> Infielder, pitcher, Greg Sibler. Another left hand stand up pitcher, left fielder, Greg Sibler. Infielder, Stacy Sibley. Pitcher, infielder, who uh, is with us tonight, but won't quite make it out here, but he is also a five-time inductee of the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame. And some of you will remember his famous speech a couple years ago, Wayne Sibley. Infielder, Chris Snoop. Infielder Trent Thompson. And finally, either he's the last one in the alphabet or had the highest batting average, Paul Chudin. I'm sorry, but I don't know how he did it in the because he was also one of our standard right handed pitchers. Sorry, the Dean Sprawl. We were going to have to run the bathroom. Uh, also an infielder from Pastor Boy, Greg Stewart. Is that correct, everybody now?
The Anthony Blues are at a big roll. Second game of the doubleheader, if we happen to be down by seven runs, we'd put him in. We know we give up three runs. We'd be mercy if we could start drinking beer. <laughs> Thank a few more people. I'm going to thank Linda again. Linda Keen, our, our mom, our mom at the diamond. When, when they got the team going, I was 25 years old and, and I was the oldest on the team, other than the two siblings, Wayne and Roy. They were old, they were like 40. <laughs> and Linda took care of us. I, I, she paid the ounce, she made sure the diamond was ready because we didn't care. We got to the diamond, we finished the game, we opened the cooler, that's what we did. And Linda took care of us. So Linda, Thank you very much for everything you did for us. We were all equal on this team. I think every guy on the stage can think back, uh, and there's something that he did to help us win a championship, win a big game throughout our, our years. And I think everybody here can, can do that. They can think of that. And if they can't, they can make up the story and tell their kids. That's fine. But when we were a team, uh, but there was uh, Animal Farm, you know the, the book Animal Farm? Um, how's it go? Everyone's equal, but some are more equal than others. Well, Perry Nazarovich was more equal than others. He was our left-handed pitcher. Uh, well, Perry, Perry threw left-handed. He used to be left-handed. He's right-handed now. He threw so many innings for us. He was on the mound for every, uh, every big game. He, he would pitch game one, three, and five in the best of five series, and he'd save game two and three. He was an outstanding guy. He's probably the best ball player that nobody outside of the big season baseball league has heard of. Uh, best pitcher in the league for all those years. He never got an MVP award because he didn't play anything other than pitching. Wasn't quite good enough to do that. <laughs> but, but we all agree that we won championships and uh, he, was the, he was the one thing that was different than the rest of all of us. The rest of us could have went, come and went, we would have done fine, but Perry was our guy. So I, if he's ever up for a Hall of Fame nomination, if you remember that name, committee, please just uh, put the check mark there and have always put him in there. Third one is uh, Russ Keene. Russ was a good ball player. I'm not going to take that away from him. That wasn't his most important role in his team, though. He brought the beers to the game. <laughs> he brought the cooler for 10 years straight in the back of his truck. He loaded it, filled it with ice, brought it to the diamond. And Russ knew, he, he knew that stats are a big part of baseball. So he kept stats with the amount of beer we drank. And, and he came up with a really good system. The, the system was for the first 25 beer you drank, it was $2 a beer, so a little cheaper back then. 50, after the next, next 25 beers, it's about 50. After that, it's a dollar a beer. So it was a great system. And uh, everybody was striving to drink the most beer because you want to you drink the dollar beers. But at the end of the, the one season, we, first season we did this, like, Russ came in first, of course, because he was doing the stats. I came in second because I'm at the mic. And third place was Dave Ford, who was the umpire. <laughs> Umpires like a deal. Our opponents would tell us, well, you saw you're not that good. You swing because you drink with the umpires. I said, have you ever thought of drinking with the umpires? <laughs> the last thanks, well, no, second last thanks. But the most important thing is going to go to our wives. If you look at the tables that we're at there, there's uh, a lot of beautiful women. If you look on the stage, there's a lot of ugly men. <laughs> if you're, uh, you're walking around here tonight earlier on and you're looking and you, you see this woman, there's a guy next to you who said, Jesus, that woman could have done a lot better. The guy's probably on stage right now. <laughs> The best thing these women did for us is they, well, they married us, <laughs> gave us kids, and uh, we all sort of got to the age where we had to coach our kids and this allowed us to quit baseball, because we wouldn't be winning anymore. <laughs> and uh, it was awesome. So thanks a lot to our wives. And uh, to end it all, thanks to you guys. Um, I think, for, I'm speaking for all of us here, we to thank each other, because we, we had a great run for 10 years, we had a really good time. Uh, we learned about winning, and uh, 
how important it is to be relaxed on the ball diamond and enjoy what you're doing and whatever happens. And uh, Roy Sidler made a good comment to me the other day. He said, uh, you know what, really, the whole team's going in the Hall of Fame because you won. But regardless if you would have won or got put in the Hall of Fame, all you guys had such a good time together, you've got memories forever. And I said, you're actually exactly right, Roy. So, so thank you very much for your time tonight and have a good evening.